Hi everybody, welcome to Carry On Jeff and John once again. Thanks for uh, joining us tonight, absolutely fantastic. Uh, not expecting uh, a big crowd tonight because I noticed the Super Bowls are on uh, and the golf. So we're going to crack on um, with this recipe and what we're going to be doing is a ribeye stir fry. Now this <clears throat> is a diabetic one, so if anybody's diabetic, this is the ideal uh, recipe for them. Um, this is for UK Scrapper's daughter, this is. She's a diabetic. I'm borderline diabetic, but I'm going to eat it by eating healthy. I've lost um, another four pound in weight, so I'm doing quite well. I, I'm, I'm really pleased with myself, I really am. Well, I'm just going to say one or two uh, hellos to all our YouTube family that are in here tonight, the ones that come week in and week out, absolutely fantastic of you. Thanks for coming Russ, uh, I must come and see you, absolutely fantastic. UK Scrappers, thanks for coming my friend. Yadel, uh, the master piano player, absolutely fantastic. Hi Wendy, I do like your new uh, logo that you've got there, um, it looks really nice, it's really catching and that. Uh, Ju Judas Life, welcome. Uh, everybody say uh, hello to the new ones that are coming in. Judas Life, say hello. Um, show that love. Um, and make them friends, make them part of our U YouTube family. Absolutely fantastic. Let's travel with Palmer. Absolutely fantastic. Thanks for coming. Uh, Raphael. Thanks for coming, my friend. Hannah B. Slots. Thanks for coming, sweetheart. Absolutely awesome of you. Don't forget, everybody, grab each other. And that's what it's all about. I've been a bit lazy this week. With, uh, I've been ever so busy. I've tried to get round as many of my YouTube family as I can. Um, we all know it's difficult. It really is. Hi, Mac. Thanks for coming, my friend. Great guy. Uh, Suka, thanks for coming sweetheart, absolutely fantastic, all the loyal ones are here every week. Right, like I say, let's crack on with this, I don't think we're going to get many more in, but there we go. Right, what you need for this is cauliflower, sorry, broccoli, cut up into nice little florets like that, uh, thinly strips of capsicums, you call them bell peppers, uh, one of them thinly sliced. Uh, ribeye steak, I always find ribeye steak's got more flavour to it. If you want to use rump steak, it's entirely up to yourself. Seal on, it's up to yourself. It really is, fillet steak if you want to be posh. But I tend to love ribeye steak and this goes ever so well with this uh, recipe. So that's your steak. One tablespoon of fish sauce. Tablespoon of soy sauce. Two cloves of garlic, finely chopped. The juice of one small lime. About an inch of ginger, thin strips. One red chilli, finely sliced. If you don't want it spicy, then leave the, um, the red pepper out. It's entirely up to yourself. The chilies rather. Um, spring onions, I've used about four or five. And what I always do, I always cut them at an angle. I always do it. It's just the way I've been taught to do it that way. Just makes the dish look a little bit better. And some shavings of carrot. Right, let's just move these out of the way. I hope you're all having a fantastic day or night or whatever time zone you're in. Absolutely fantastic. I can't stay outdoor adventures and travel. Can't stay long as it's your grandson's birthday. Happy birthday to him. I hope he has a wonderful day all night. I don't know what time it is here. But I just want to thank you for coming. And I hope he has a 
fantastic day. How long, how old is he, sorry, how long is he? How old is he, um, Outdoor? I just want to thank you for coming as well. Anna B Slots, thanks for coming. Ralph Trucking, thanks for coming in, my friend. I'm new. Yeah, I know you're new. You, honestly, you're absolutely awesome. Ralph, fantastic. Grab up Ralph, he does a nice live stream. I advise you to go and see him when he's live streaming. He makes you welcome. He makes everybody welcome in there. And that's what I like about uh, Ralph. Um, like you say, you go to some live streams, you could be commenting and they're ignoring you and whatever and that. Well, that's entirely up to the cells. Julius Life, another new new one in here. Grab her up. I even did tweet videos. That's awesome, that is. Thank you so much. It's 40... 408 here. So I think it's just, just gone off again. The, the, this, is, this is what gets them on here. They don't stay on long enough. Um, is that 40 degrees or is it 408? It can't be 408 years, years of, of age. I'm just going to read that again when it comes through. He is 10 and one is 12. They were born on... January the 3rd, two years apart, same time. How awesome is that? That is absolutely fantastic. Really? That's fantastic outdoor. Fantastic day. I love parties. I love to see kids enjoy themselves. I really do. So have a great time. Send her hello, my darling. Oh, that's fantastic. Thanks for coming, sweetheart. Check out Zendo. If you haven't got Zendo, you've got to get here. She sings like a nightingale. She has some beautiful, she sings it with so much passion. She's absolute a darling. She really is fantastic. Kathleen, thanks for coming. Absolutely awesome of you, sweetheart. Just want to thank every single one of you. 15 people, 11 likes. Ralph, thanks for sharing. If anybody wants to share us out, please do. Everybody's welcome here. They really are. Ralph talking, I would like to say I haven't seen it, but I have laugh out loud. Ralph, I don't think you want to hear me uh, waffle anymore. So let's get down to cooking this ribeye stir fry. And like I said, this is for UK scrappers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick somebody each week and we're going to cook a dish for them. Now I've done a poll. Uh, I've done three dishes that we can, um, if you want to vote on it or whatever, it's um, wild mushroom penne, now that's an awesome dish. Lasagna, which we can do in 30 seconds, because lasagna can take quite a bit of time. And we've got um, a smoked salmon one. So if you want to check that out, have a look, it's entirely up to yourself. People like and share, carry on Jeff and John. Thank you. Tweet you out, buddy. Thank you, Raphael. Anna B. Slots, awesome. Ali Mac, great people. This is our YouTube family. Absolutely fantastic of you. Right, I know I'm waffling, but right, this is what we've got to do now. The first thing we've got to do is put your oven on on 200. That's already on preheated. So that's that's the bad boy. I've, I've, that's been on about 20 minutes. Well, when you're cooking meat or anything, you always preheat your oven. Never put food, um, especially meat, into a cold oven. Because what happens there is, it, it toughens the meat up, believe it or not. Now that's another tip for you. Right. Put your ribeye in the bowl. And what we want in here is soy sauce and fish sauce. Right, olive oil, use a good quality olive oil, a sprinkling of fish sauce, about a tablespoon, and soy sauce, tablespoon. And the thing is, with soy sauce, if you want your meat to be tender, use soy sauce and fish sauce. And your steak will come out absolutely beautiful, really well. Right. 
just want to coat that. There we go. Get yourself a griddle pan. Like so. And just space that out. Give it give your uh, meat room to cook evenly, like so. So just leave a little bit of few gaps in there, like so. Like that. Yeah? That's awesome. Ribeye. God, that ribeye. Put that in the oven. Now I put that on the top shelf. Now that will, by the time we've got this ready, the stir fry on that, that should be about right. Right, let's move this uh, chopping board out of the way. The trusted wok. Now this we're going to cook on high heat. A smidgen, you like that saying don't you, a smidgen of olive oil. I just want to get this uh, pan nice and hot and just run your wok round now. Let's get all the bottom uh, coated. Fifteen people and fourteen likes. Now I didn't think I would get fifteen people in tonight. I really didn't. Just Mike, thanks for coming, my friend. Live the life you love. Welcome, sweetheart. Absolutely fantastic of you. It really is, and I really do appreciate it. Thanks, my friend, for sharing your stir fry. Zender, Zen, oh, Zen. I call you Zender, sweetheart. I really am chuffed to bits. I really am chuffed to bits that um, you've gone out of your way. You must be late where you are, sweetheart, to come and support us. That really does mean a lot. That really does. Ian changed his name. Thanks for coming. Absolutely awesome. Ian changed his name. I love that. I love that one. It's so catchy. It's unbelievable. Right. Wendy, you're amazing as well. You're all amazing. You all are absolutely fantastic. Diane, thanks for coming, darling. Absolutely fantastic. It really is. Right, spring onions. Don't forget what I told you. Always use a wooden spatula in a wok. Last you a lifetime. Ginger, garlic, got to have garlic in a stir fry, absolutely awesome, this is the best stuff that will keep you alive, I tell you, absolutely beautiful stuff. What we want to do here, is just put a tablespoon of water in. And all that does is stop your garlic and your ginger from burning. That's what that does. That's why we put some water in. Right, broccoli. Broccoli, love it. Beautiful in the taste, right? Carrots, thinly shaven carrots. Don't forget to put the water in. 
just like my dear friend, absolutely awesome, really is. Thanks for coming Diane, Wendy, UK Scrappers, this is the UK Scrappers, this is. Just going to put a bit more olive oil in there because I want to get the, uh, the broccoli well coated. I'm just keeping an eye on the time because I want to keep an eye on that meat, the ribeye that's in there. Soya sauce, fish sauce, the smell of this is absolutely awesome, it really is. Chilies. This is so easy to do, it's unbelievable. A child could do this. Lime juice. And the secret to a good stir fry is not to overcook it. What we want, we want it nice and crunchy. That's what we want. Hope you're all having an awesome time. I really do. That's it, all of a good, uh, good natter among ourselves. Right, just to soften that, um, the broccoli, what we're going to do, we're going to put a bit more water in, like so. Just going to put the lid on and turn that down now. And what that will do, that will um, that will reduce down the water that we've put in. Once that evaporates, that's it. And what this is doing is steaming your vegetables for you. Now that's another tip for you. Just put some water in. Put a lid on there, and we're going to leave that for about two or three minutes. And what we're going to do then is just wait for this steak. You've got to want this. Steam is the key to a stir fry. You were so right, my friend. You're going to be a master chef, you are. Raphael, thanks for coming my friend, you're absolutely awesome, fish sauce, love it, if you've never tried fish sauce, fish sauce and soy sauce together is a great combination, and like I said, if you want tender meat, tender steaks or chicken or, or pork or whatever, just marinate it in that and put it in the fridge for about half an hour, 30 minutes, I've not done that because obviously I'm live, but that's the way you get tenderised meat. That's the way to do it. Right, I'm just going to check the steak. Right. That's ready. Now, we're ready for plating up. It's a nice easy one this week.
This is the best part I like, plating up, absolutely awesome. Yeah, you know, fantastic lady. I hope every single one of you, certainly all is good, Kathleen, you're so right there. Check out the Adel. Let's all get us some. Uh, let's get some views on the channel. Let's all keep interacting. Let's build this YouTube channel up. It's the only way to do it. It is hard. It is hard work doing uh, YouTube. But we, we we all deserve better. We all deserve more views. Unbelievable. You see some things, it's just absolutely ridiculous and they get thousands and thousands of views. Very demoralising. And another thing. Never overcook your steak. Look at that. That's how you want it. Absolutely awesome. And if that was a full steak, I would have put, put that in strips. You should rest your meat, but when you cut it up into strips, it'll be nice and tender anyway. Right. UK scrappers, this is for you, my friend. This is for everybody, really, but I've done this especially for UK scrappers daughter. Now people have been asking me for uh, beef and broccoli. Well I will get round to that one because that's a complete diff different dish than this. Well I nearly picked that pan up. Absolutely beautiful. And what we're going to do now, we're just going to put a little more sprinkling of soya sauce. Oh. I wonder how long, I just wondered how long it would be before we crashed. But they're not going to beat us. But there you go. Ribeye stir fry. Now, that is so healthy, it's unbelievable. That, I'm not kidding you, is better for you than any other greasy food or whatever. But that, look at that. Hey, An ideal dish for diabetics. Oh, I could eat all that. I bet you could. This is absolutely phenomenal. It really is. And how easy was that? I mean, that's took us, what, less than 25 minutes? And 10 minutes of that while I was gassing. You know what I mean? Anyway. I've got to do my thumbnail. Because otherwise I'm going to be in trouble. And there we go. I'm just going to show you. Just going to show you how tender that meat is. Look at that. I'm hardly touching it. It's so tender it's unbelievable. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely superb. This is uh, my, my lad's knife who's uh, training to be a chef. Got an apprenticeship. This knife is absolutely awesome. In fact he's got better knives than me which ain't on. 
I'm not I'm not happy about that. Mm. Beautiful. Wendy, Diane, anybody who wants to come and try this, honestly, it's absolutely fabulous, it really is. Mm. Nice crunchy um, broccoli. We don't want it rock hard. You know what I mean? That's where people go wrong with the fried. If you overcook the broccoli, it's going to go all light mush in that. And it, it's not going to be very nice at all. But like I said to you, if you don't like it um, spicy or whatever, leave the chilli out. It's entirely up to yourself. Luke! It's alright, my lad will be here in a minute, he'll be waiting for this. Ladies Kitchen, thanks for coming sweetheart, nice to see you darling, it really is. Anna B. Slots videos, Kathleen, Diane, Washington Country News Station, thanks for coming my friend, you're always welcome to come here, you really are. Freddie Forrington, I know you're here, son. How are you? Um, check out Freddie Forrington. Let's try and get him up to 500 subscribers, shall we? If you don't know Freddie Forrington, he plays the guitar. And I'll tell you what. Um, we're school pals. I've known Fred now. I'm giving my age away now. Since I was... I've got to know him now, 45 years, and that's what you call an awesome friend. Is that it? Honestly, check out Freddie Forrington. Kathleen, I wouldn't charge you anything, darling. I wouldn't charge anybody anything. I just would like you to just try some of these recipes. You, you would, you'd love it. You really would. Iron Dog, thanks for coming, my friend. Man, that looks good, Chad. Thanks for the kind uh, comments. Everybody check out Iron Dog. Um, he does um, some recipes, cooking and all that. He can cook on the quiet, you know what I mean? He makes Saudi calm, but he's, he, he's, I think he's a bit of a chef up on the quiet. He is. He's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, try old friend. Check out Iron Dog. Every single one of you grab each other. And I just want to thank everybody that's come tonight. 18 likes. Absolutely Phenomenal. Happy to see you, Yendel. Iron Dog, Diane, Wendy. You're just fantastic people. Just remember, we've got to keep moving on. We've got to keep supporting each other. We really have. It's Without us, without each other, it really wouldn't be worth doing YouTube, it wouldn't. Um, I just want to say... Um, Next week I won't be here because I'm going away for a few days. Me and the wife and a friend of ours just going for a nice break. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of it, Warner Ledgers. Warner Leisure. Um, it's in Nottingham where we go, so you'll know where, where I'm on about, Wendy. Um, there's no children there. Not that, I don't, not that I dislike children, but like I said before, I could never eat a full one. But... Um, my lads have all grown up now. We've done all our hard work. All I'm waiting for now is some grandkids. And I tell you, that would be the highlight of my life when my lads give me them. My grandkids. That's all I'm waiting for. I really am. Enjoy your time well. Thanks, Ali. Absolutely fantastic. Have a great time. Thanks, Anne. Pop in or cuppa, John? Pop in for a cuppa. That would be absolutely awesome, Wendy. I'd, I would, I'd love to meet you in person, I really would. You're an awesome lady. Always there for us. Absolutely fantastic. Have a nice holiday. Hi, Washington. Hello, Washington County. Hope you have a nice time away. Thanks, Ian. That's really nice of you. Really is. May you have a great time. Yadel. Awesome. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. And I know you mean it. I know you mean it. And that's what I like about our YouTube family. We're genuine. Do you want to... 
Do you want this stir fry? Let's try some bread. Yeah. Try that ribeye. So he's just taking his antibiotics. What, it, what this antibiotics does, what he's got, makes him eat more. Oh, hey. You just tell us somebody then, I don't know. Let's try a bit of this. Try oh, that ribeye, mate, it's beautiful. Is that tender? That is dank. Yeah, that's dank. So that's that gone. I want to come and visit you over there. That'd be awesome, that would. Really would. You'd always be welcome here. Yeah, Dad. Okay, mate. What my only side does, you know, he comes down, he waits till I've cooked it. Because what they do, he watches it upstairs or he might watch it on his phone comes down um, I said what are you doing so I'm just going to have to come down for a drink dad but he hasn't come down for a drink he must think I'm stupid what he's done is come down so he could rob it and that's what he's done if it ain't him it's caring but the other two lads are out now my oldest lad he absolutely loves this stir fry anything stir fry goes mad for it really does um, and my oldest lad is he's um, a fabricated welder and it's his birthday on the 19th of uh, Feb February and Karen who's doing the uh, training to be a chef got an apprenticeship and that his birthday is on the 18th so I've got the 18th and the 19th now how uncanny is that and I did say to the wife why couldn't you just keep your legs shut right for another couple of hours and then it would have been a lot cheaper then we could have had his birthday on the same day. Do you know what I mean? But we always have a laugh about that. It's just uncanny. But he's he, he's he's absolutely phenomenal, my my oldest lad. I got, honestly, he's, he is absolutely brilliant. Canning cabbage soup right now. I've never tried uh, cabbage soup. Uh, Iron dog. Sounds nice. Sounds really nice. Um, I'll have to check that out then, I know. You say you've got your can in it or you're making it or whatever. You've got a beautiful family, John. Why does that keep doing that? It's unbelievable. Thank you, Suka. I'm off now to play my guitar. See you next time, everyone. Freddie, thanks for coming, mate. I know it's getting late because you're usually... You're usually in bed before 10 o'clock. Freddie Forrington, you're a legend, my friend. Love listening to you. I'll be coming down to uh, Grimsby soon. Um, so I'm going to come and see our Dean. Uh, and then I'm looking forward to that. I really am. Cabbage suits is great. I thought I'd have to check that one out. I really will. Anybody else haven't said hello? I haven't said hello to. I hope you've all got each other. Just want to thank Suka as well. She's um, she's there for me all the time. She's absolutely, she's a lovely lady. She really is. Absolutely fantastic. I just want to thank the people that's come in, the new ones. Um, and I, I do appreciate it. I really do. UK Scrappers, was that all right for you, my friend? Um, Danish lamb and cabbage soup is great. That sounds absolutely brilliant. Um, right, let's pick somebody else out. Um, John, can you make some tortellos? Okay, we'll have a look at that. We'll have a look at tortellas. Different things and whatever and that. So we've got Kathleen who likes um, tortellos. It was great, thank you. Very much appreciated. Any time you case scrappers. You are so so awesome. Love you all. We're all absolutely awesome, Diane. We really are. Right. What I'm gonna do, um Kathleen, we'll do your tortillos. I won't be here next week, because obviously like I say I'm going away. But I shall keep that registered in my mind. Um Wendy what is your favourite food? Um, and what shall we cook? Now, we need something that we can cook within an hour. That's what we want. 
Because um, obviously I don't want to be... I mean, it's like an homemade rice pudding, it could take anything to two hours. And I don't think we want to be uh, rabbiting for, for two hours. It's very difficult to keep talking, basically. Um, so we'll have a look. I mean, I know Kathleen, I think you're a great lover of salmon, aren't you? And pasta. Not noodles and that kind of stuff, am I right? I know you like your salmon. But what I try to do on it, I try to do healthy um, recipes. Um, I mean, we could do deep fried chicken and stuff like that, but do do we want to do that? Do we want to do some spicy chicken uh, goujons or, or something like that? You know. Catherine Diane, something with pasta. Okay. Love salmon. Anything chicken. Okay. Right. I like salmon as well. Am. Right. Right. What we're going to do. Um, Wendy. We're going to be doing Wendy a dish next week. And like I say, not next week. When I come back. Um, Anne likes salmon as well. Wendy likes anything chicken. Right. Um, so we're going to do spicy chicken breast with veggies. Now that sounds good as well. Right, so we're going to do Wendy's in a fortnight's time. Then we're going to do the tortillas. And just remind me, then we're going to do a nice chicken dish. So that's what we're going to do. Right. I just want to say... Thank you for everybody that comes here. You're all absolutely fantastic. Diane, uh, we got you there, sweetheart. I know you like the pasta. Hi, Spring Garden. Hi, Spring Garden. Thanks for coming into the live stream. I just want to thank everybody. Raphael, Diane UK Scrappers, Kathleen, Wendy, Anne, Suka. We said Raphael. Spring Garden. Thanks for coming. Everybody grab Spring Garden. If you want to join our, our YouTube family, get everybody in here and promise that you'll stay loyal to them. We're not here to uh, collect uh, subs because we're not a sub channel. We're not. We're not here to just collect subs. We want loyal, um, honest people that's going to actually watch their videos. I know we can't get round everybody, but we'll try our damnedest. You leave a comment, and now we'll get back to you. It's the same with anybody on that in our YouTube family. You leave them a comment, and I'll guarantee you, they always come back. They'll thank you, they'll watch your video, and they comment, and they keep coming week in and week out. Ian Matthews comes, he always comes like, he's a US Cavalry, I call him. You ought to change your name into US Cavalry, because they're always late. There was always late in the walls and that. But Ian, I just want to thank you for coming. Even if you are late. I thought I heard a taxi um, pull up outside here. But we've got to get you a nice... Um, we've got to get you a reliable taxi. So you can get here on time, Ian. Everybody check out Ian Matthews. Ian, top man. You're a legend, my friend. I really do appreciate that. Just Mike. Another great guy. Ian... You, I, I, I could go on all night. I really could. But um, anyway, I'm going to get ready. I've got to tidy up. The wife's at work. So I'm the boss. I'm the boss in the house. I really am. But when she comes home, I'm back to, yeah, yes, boss. Yes, boss. You know what I mean? Yes, boss. Absolutely fantastic. Big hugs. Lovely fab. Okay, Wendy, my sweetheart. If I come to Nottingham, I'll I'll come and have a cup of tea. We, I'll bring the family. We can all have all have a little chat, can't we? And be slots. Thanks for coming. And be lucky on them slot machines. I want you to win, big Anne. Really big. I was watching um, one the other night, the Laughing Lion, and I thought it was him that was putting the money in. Within about five minutes, he'd lost ten thousand dollars. So when I commented, he got back to me and he said it was his friend. 
$10,000 in about six minutes. You've got to have it. But fair play to, I mean, if he's going to win, he's going to win big. He really is. Yeah, I saw that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Right, I hope everybody's got um, everyone here. All absolutely awesome. I'll see you in a fortnight. What I'm going to be doing uh, next week, I'm not doing a recipe, but I'm hoping that Jeff, my brother, he's also a qualified chef and that, I'm hoping that he's going to do my Northern Light video. I know I was, that was bloody ages ago I've been asking him, but he's promised me he's going to do my Northern Light one. So I really do hope you enjoy that. I really do. 10,000, wow, I can't sleep. If that was me. But you'd be skipping if you won 20,000, Suka. Unbelievable. Some people like a punt. I mean, I like a punt, but... You know what I mean? Well, that's some serious money. Raphael, um, I just want to say, brother, um, I always look forward to seeing you. I really do. You're like a brother to me. Ali Mack, another great guy. UK Scrappers, got a lot of time. Got a lot of time for all of you. Our YouTube family. 21 likes. Is it um, is it good to get these likes? Does that do you any, any favours or, or what? That's ridiculous to leave that about of money. He certainly is in $10,000 in a machine. And these machines, they've got to be programmed to take your bloody money. They give you so much back then, they put it back. And in. And there's only one winner in the end. I mean, I, I'm going to tell you something now. Now, you, you might think I'm telling fibs but this is the gospel truth. I swear on my kid's life if I'm not telling you any fibs. About three years ago, me, the wife, uh, and the and the kids, uh, and my mum, Kerry said, shall we go to the casino? I said, why not? Well, let's, you know, as long as we're sensible. We went to this casino, oh, I'm not kidding you. I do like to have a go on a casino, but I haven't been for a long time. I like to do naught to 6, 19 to 27. And the wife said, Here's 200 uh, euros. I said, well, when that's gone, it's gone. And I had 50 euros. I spent them all around 0 to 6, 19 to 27. My lucky number is 23 and 2. Always been lucky to me. Um, I tried to buy a house once with a number 23 on, but it would never come up for sale. Or number 2. Anyway. It was as though, it was as though the... They were letting me win, because straight away, and this is gospel... 23 came up. Oh, wow. This is a oh, well, done, well done, babe. So I took them off and they, they always leave the winning one on. So I put back on again, round 0 to 6, 19 to 27. And this is no word of a lie. I had six winning spins on a trot. Gospel. Right? The Spanish people, after the third win, they were, I wondered why they were, all the chips were starting to pile up round where I was. They were saying, lucky Englishman, lucky Englishman. And they had three more wins with me, so I had the six wins. And I said, oh, I'm going now, and I cashed it all in, and gave, gave the wife these 50, uh, these chips, and I got 50 on them, white. So I kept giving her these 50s and that, and she was having a drink, and I was glass of Chardonnay. And, um... These Spanish people say, no, 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 don't go, don't go. And uh, the Spanish coupe, you know, was paying out, he went, oh, si, senor, gracias, and all this stuff. And then I realised, why he was saying that, because when you give a win, when you have a win on the, well, I don't know if it's, if it's in English rule, that or whatever, but the Spanish or a Broadway, you give them a tip. So I gave him 50 euros, and he was, oh, it's over the moon. We cash these chips to come on then, because Kerry said, come on, I'm getting bored when you keep winning. How can you get bored of keep winning? I said, OK then, mate. So we got them all together, cashed them in. I was only in there for half an hour, and I came out with £4,000 euros. €4,000. Euros, and I cashed them in uh, round at the... What do you call them places where you change your dollar into English and all that lot? Went in there, um, and we changed the euros into English 
and I said to Kerry, how are we going to get this 3,200 quid back to the UK? We've only gone out with like, I don't know, 2,000, 1,800 euros or whatever, and we're coming back with more. We're coming out what? Another 1,400 quid worth of money here. Oh, but anyway, we changed them, spent a bit, uh, come back, and I said to my lads, got them all in the front room, and they had all this cash, 20 pound notes. I said, yeah lads, put them in hundreds for dad. And I put them all in, all in there, and like I say, the 2,800, I'd already spent a few while we was over there. And I've never seen my kids so happy in all their lives. And do you know what? Um, every single penny we spent on them kids. I would give my kids my last half a P if, I, if they still did them. Honestly. That was, that was some time, and we, and we often talk about it. Every time we go to Spain, we'll say, Do you remember that, Dad, when you won all that money? I said, you can't help but forget about it. But anyway, it was absolutely fantastic. Hi, the Winston family. Hi, Corrine. Sorry, sweetheart, I'm on the way out. Oh, mind you, I've always been all right. Um, wow, what a win. Come. Honestly, it's a gospel truth. I get my lad here now and he'll tell you, he'll tell you exactly the same. You don't need to tell fibs. But that is gospel truth. I swear on my family. Honestly, that was one hell of a, one hell of a, a, a holiday that was. Free holiday, come back with more than what we spent. Absolutely ruined. Everybody check out Winston family. Great lady. And I'll tell you what, when she, um, when she comments, she certainly bloody comments. I mean, it's like a book. I always love, I always love reading your comments, I do. I really do. I get some comments, you know. Um... But you know, they've only watched it for 30 seconds or whatever and that. And he goes in spam and that, and you think to yourself, what is the point in coming visiting me? Do you know what I mean? But that's YouTube for you. I mean, one or two people have asked me if I've got modern ties or whatever it is. I'm never going to get modern ties because I don't, I don't come on enough. I mean, I think you'd have to come on three or four times a week, an hour a day or whatever, or whatever it is. Um, but we've all got things to do, you know what I mean? I think people would get bored of you if you're doing it three or four times a week. They would. I mean, me cooking every, every, you know, like three or four times a week, you soon get fed up of that. You really would. But, um, anyway, um, I know one or two people run my videos for me, because I notice we watch times on, and I, and, I, and I thank them people in here that, uh, that do that for me. I'm not here to, to make money, you know, I'm honestly, it's true. If you think you're going to make a lot of money out of YouTube, you are so wrong, you really are. If your face fits, you'll do all right. But if I had to rely on uh, YouTube for my income, I would be as thin as a rake. And all I wanted to do was get one dollar so, I could buy an egg. And to say that, I've actually got some. I mean, how sad is that? But that is, a, that is a goal of mine. I've been doing this channel now for about three years. Well, it is, it's over three years now. But I never thought I'd ever get to this stage. I really didn't, to meeting all these awesome people. I really didn't. So, I'm trying to read the uh, comments as well and talk to you as well. But, um, you're right, Yandel. I mean, like you, like you say, sweetheart, you should be advertising for, for the, for the uh, talent that you've got, darling. And you should be getting more views than what you get. You really should. Someone told me it's, it's all down to the, to the wording as well. You know, to get to the top of the search and all that. I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, I do a live and... I do get quite a lot of comments and all that, which I'm very thankful for. But some people do lives and they get like two or three comments and that, you know what I mean? It's, it's hard. It's good to help family out, yeah. My um, my eldest dad, Liam, don't get you well, Liam, he should get his um, tickets on the 9th of February, so he'll be earning a good living. Um, 
And he had a loan for £4,000, this was about six months ago, because he's always changing his car. We got his, his first, we got him his first car, which we'll get my middle one, uh, giving money towards the car. Um, and then his scooter, which obviously we bought for them, because we want to give him a good start in life. And that'll be for my youngest son, Luke. Luke's a clever kid, he's going to be, uh, he's going to be absolutely awesome, he is. Um, To put all my all my recipes in, in one playlist, so not not all different ones. Just put them in one playlist. I'll get our Jeff to do that, Colin. Thanks for the for the bit of advice. I notice um, nobody ever goes in my playlist. You know, you look at the figures and all. I see like four. Bits. And you think to yourself, why? You know, I, can't, I really can't understand that. I really can't. I noticed one person that I've been friends with for a long time with on YouTube. I don't see much of them now because um, you'll find a lot of the time when people get monetized, um, they don't they don't want to know you then. They don't, and I, you just don't see them again. And what they do, they use they go around live streams picking up all these subscribers and all that kind of stuff. Um, get all these numbers and all that. I mean, there's one person who's got, she's got nearly 5,000. 5,000 subscribers. And I was looking at her videos and all that, and she gets like 37, 62. She gets less than 100 views a video. Now that tells me something that they just collected. If you're getting 5,000 subscribers, you should get at least a minimum of 200. 200 on a video, surely. How many hours? I can help you. Is there another social media you have so we can chat like Twitter? Yeah, I'm on Twitter. I'm on Twitter, uh, YouTube. Oh, something on here. Yeah, I'm on Twitter, um, YouTube, um, what's the other one? Is it Discord, Discord or something? I'm on there as well. Um, can't remember the other ones. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, WhatsApp. That's what. That's all mine. Look at my beautiful wife there. Oh, she's such a darling, she really is. I'm going to message you on Twitter. I look forward to that. I look forward to that, Colleen. I really, really am. I'm really looking forward to uh, speaking to you. Um, That um, that one there, Luke, my younger one, right? He was a model from the age of eleven onwards, and I'm not kidding you. He uh, he, he he got a part in a in a, in a, a play. Um, now that modelling is another uh, another racket as well. And that cost us five grand to get him into modelling. That, but obviously he didn't want to. He wanted to go out with his mates and that. You know what I mean? But honestly, he's he's absolutely fantastic. That one there. That one there. That's Liam, the oldest one. Um, and Karen at the bottom. Absolutely fantastic. It really is. Um, Look at that one. That's our Lukey when he was about eight. Absolutely fantastic. I get so emotional. 
We all want the best for our kids. We really do. Albans. Albans. That's my beautiful wife. Yeah. Absolute darling, she really is. She does everything for me. Wouldn't swap her for the world. Here she is. Now I'm... We've been together nearly 18 years, like I said the other week. Um, there's 19 years between me and Kerry. And people said it won't last. How wrong was they? She looks after me. 100% and this woman here I wouldn't part with her for the world she's absolutely phenomenal she does everything for me she does everything for the kids she's like a big mother hen always looking out for the kids what are you doing with my girlfriend I'm not going to borrow her because I just think she's absolutely awesome now when you want her back it's going to cost you 10 million million dollars honestly to get her back I wouldn't part with her Done, we, we've done so much together, really haven't. My other marriage, it didn't work. Uh, but they always say, second time round. Second time round is always the best. And it's so right. Now she won't be home. I'll go and pick her up at 4am. 4, 4 she's had to go in um, because someone, she's a secretary, she works at um, one of these hotels. And she picked that job up within about what? five weeks um, and they said she's absolutely brilliant she'll work herself up to be a manager but she's got that experience because when we run the residential home and obviously we've sold that now she was absolutely great with people uh, and when, it's, when people talk about her they say to her you know what she's so kind and considering that she said well manners, manners don't cost anything there's always other people less fortunate than what, what you are yourselves. And I said, you know what, babe, you are so right. Look at the size of that watch she's got on. She's got about seven or eight of them, diesel and all that kind of stuff. She loves big watches. And she also likes a nice Chardonnay, a glass of wine. And I will have a glass of wine waiting for her when she comes home. And whatever she wants to eat, it'll be what I'll be waiting for her. And it'll be on the table. She'll have a shower and then we go to bed and then we'll be up about one o'clock in the afternoon. I won't sleep tonight. I, when she's working night or whatever, she's on 11, 11 till seven, she'll say, you get yourself to bed. I say, Kerry, I can't. I have to wait for you. Because that's how close we are. And you're right, Sue, can never go to bed angry. Always sort it out. Live the life you love. Long marriage is such a gift, you're so right. R5 Adventure, thanks for coming in. Absolutely fantastic. It must be so early there. Is it early or late? Check out R5 Adventure, another great lady. She really is. Go to her live streams. Um, she, she does some some fantastic... Um, what I mean, she does videos, just some nice videos and God knows what. But when you go in to see her, she'll always make you welcome. So supportive, she's unbelievable. So everybody grab out R5 Adventure. She's an absolute darling, she really is. 3.30, is that morning or afternoon? True love will always last. You're so right. And if she goes to bed angry, best advice, don't go to bed at all or sleep with one eye open you're so right dog you are so right you really are well what i do is i make out i've got um i've got bad wind or something i get up so, so i don't have to face the backlash but it's very rarely we have a, a, a bad bad word because at the end of the day if my wife said the uk was bigger than america i would say you are so right sweetheart you are so right. It's like when people argue nowadays. If you're going to argue, just agree with them. But as long as you know, it doesn't really matter, does it? You really don't. 
the Adol, the UK. All stay in here, all grab them. So I'll be going to bed tonight um, with a patch on my eye ironed on. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look like a pirate. That's what I'm going to do. That's, that's very good advice, that is. Smile and nod best practice. You're so right. I'm a lover, not a fighter. I know you, you're a man of, man, of, uh, man of wisdom. You really are. That's why you've been together a long time. How long have you been together, I know? You must have been... You must have been together for quite a long time. MT Forging Gaming, good to see you. I always like to say hello to everybody, because at the end of the day, they've, they've gone out of the way um, to come and see you, so it's rude not to say hello to them. It really is. That's 35 years, nearly 36 years. Am I reading that? I just caught the glimpse of that. I'm just waiting for that to come on. I've got to see how long I know to be together. Yeah, I don't bloody come on now. 15 years married, 19 together, high school, sweetheart. Oh, wow, that's absolutely fantastic. It really is. I can tell you're a nice lady, I really can. I'm a pretty good judge of character, the way you come over and all that. You remind me of a, a lady that used to work for us. And when I first subscribed to you, I thought to myself, no, it can't be. I thought it was Paula. You look so much like her. Unbelievable. 36.5 years. Wow, you get less for murder. You get, honestly, you get less for murder. The Craig twins, what did they get? 50 years, didn't they? Crikey, that's some time. That's how I love the man. In with Eva like 15 years. I'm with Eva like 15 years already. Raphael, I couldn't, I, I just couldn't imagine anybody not loving you. You know why? Because you're such a, a, a genuine guy. Does everybody know Raphael? He's such, honestly, he's so genuine. He, he's absolutely brilliant. He really is. I'd love to meet him and have a pint with the guy. Honestly. If I see Raphael or whatever, if I can make it, I'll always be there for him. He's absolutely great. He is a great guy. That's what it's all about. Keep showing that love. Do you know what? I can't believe we've been on here nearly over an hour. Now we're talking about um, marriages and all that. This is a cooking channel, trying to learn different recipes and all, and the best way to cook and that. Now I'm a married uh, counsellor. Hey, <laughs> absolutely fantastic. Loneliness has got to be one of the worst things out. Oh, I could, just couldn't imagine it. You see these old people, you know. Oh, I feel sad for them, I really do. We have family been for a while. You've got an, all, you've got an awesome friend there, Colleen. How's Barry White anyway? Is he all right, Colleen? Corey's name into your cook, Colleen. Check out uh, Colleen's Winston family. She's another great lady. She's so funny. You can tell she's the boss. Uh, Corey makes out he's the boss, but he ain't. I know. I know. I will. He's watching Super Bowls. What? 20 past 11 it starts in the UK, so I'll be looking forward to that. Um. Is it the Packers? Or the, who, who's in the final? Not the, uh, is it 49ers? Why is the Super Bowl on? Because it's the final. It's the final. Is it the Ravens? 49 the Chiefs. The Chiefs will win that, uh, Colleen. Not a problem. Marriage is weight, but so worth it. Ain't seen so many give up. When it's hard, the hard times deepen, my love. We are in New York, it hasn't started yet. Yeah, well, I'll be getting ready for, for that. So, if you've got any uh, life savings, whatever you do, don't put it on the 49ers. You watch, I'll eat my words, I will. Christine, thanks for coming, darling. 
Nice to see you. Want to say hello to you. Anyway, we've got 12 people in here, 24 likes. I hope uh, you enjoyed uh, the recipe tonight. Um, I'll let you lot have a little chat among yourself. Message retracted. Oh, fine, you behave yourself. Hey? Eh? Thanks for coming anyway. Anyway, from Carry On Jeff and John, I just want to say I've got to tidy this uh, kitchen up. And it's a bloody mess, honestly. I just want to thank you all for coming. Let's all help each other out. Let's all be awesome together. And one day, our day will come. And we're all going to be legends. But we are legends anyway. Anyway, from Carry On, Jeff and John. I just want you all to be lucky, um, good health. Be lucky, and the least thing, well, the best thing you can do is keep showing that love. Not just to your partners, but to every each and every one of you. You're all absolutely fantastic. Ali Mac, thanks for stopping, staying in here, and that's what I love about um, the, the people in here. They all stay loyal to you. Absolutely fantastic, Ali Mac. Go and check his news on live on a Saturday night. Go and join him. He's a fantastic mechanic. He really is. See, I know. I don't just see people and, and, and whatever. Um, I know about you. I know. I don't just sit, see you as a, as a number. You're not just a number to me. You're friends. You're my friends. And I really do enjoy cooking for you. I really do. And that's what it's all about. Sometimes I think to myself, why do I bother doing uh, YouTube? Because it does take over, it does take over your life. It really does. But you've got to keep going. Hi Camp G-Way. Not seen you here before, but thanks for coming. What's cooking? I'm sorry, but um, you've missed that, my friend. Um, we start cooking about nine o'clock. Won't be cooking next week because I'm going away for a few days. But if you want to come the following week, come in here, join our YouTube family, meet all these nice people in here, and I mean nice people, genuine people. These in here, not, they're not here for, uh, for collecting subs or anything like that. They are here because they are genuine. Corey said, Chiefs is rooted for you too, but you don't care who wins. The Chiefs were on it, big time. Corey! Top man, love you to bits, my friend. Right, we love our family here. Diane, you are so right, sweetheart. You are so right, sweetheart. Diane's a lovely lady as well. Have you ever, have you ever seen Diane and Wendy with the wear them? Uh, what do you call it? A ring. They wear a ring on the thumbs, and there's nothing. Honestly, I think it's brilliant. They're doing the crafting and they're wearing them on like that. I think it's so... So so sexy. That's the word I'm looking for. That's so sexy how I wear them. I used to think it was uh, lesbians and gays that just wear them on the thumbs and that. But uh, no, I think they're absolutely brilliant. Anyway, um, less of the waffle. We'll find something else we can rabbit about. Um, Diane, Corey, uh, everybody, love you all, hope to see you soon, I won't see you next week, Wendy, we're going to be doing you a nice uh, chicken dish, that's it, anyway, from Carry On, Jeff and John, just want to say you're all absolutely awesome, UK Scrapper, please try this one, Raphael, thank you my friend, the Winston family, um, you can re-watch like I will be tomorrow. I know this was an amazing recipe. Thank you, Corey. Uh, Colleen, sorry. Um, be lucky. Keep showing the love. And I'll see you all in a fortnight. You're all absolutely awesome. Love you to bits. Now that's an awesome voila.